Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Tonight's movie, Tomb Raider. I'm excited about that. 2008 version, Laura Croft. Um, and uh, basically, she's the daughter of an adventurer who goes missing, and she has to put herself to the test in an effort to find him when she arrives on the island that he has gone missing on. So it's kind of exciting. I'm excited. Um, Alicia Vikander, I forget how you say her name, V I. K A N D E R Vikander, uh, you know who I mean. You've seen her Ex Machina, um, and and other many other movies. But she's in this. I'm excited to see it. So hopefully it's good. Um, who else? Dominic West is the uh, another person in here. Um, I think plays her dad. And uh, you know that's that's really it. That's all I'm gonna mention for now. I'm gonna get into it a little bit. It, Six point eight. Okay. I thought I got lower reviews, but six point eight isn't terrible. Um, so, we'll see what it's like. I'll tell you a little bit more about the plot and really what it's about after my first check-in and I'll let you know what I'm thinking. It's hour 57 minutes. I'm excited. Hopefully you're excited. We'll see if it's any good. Alright, stick around. Hey everybody, want to do a quick check-in here. Tomb Raider 2018, 40 minute and 5 second mark. Uh, not too much to tell. I think it's, uh, you know, pretty well described in the synopsis of what's going on. So, uh, um, Laura Croft, um, is basically playing a a poor bike messenger um, and her father has gone missing seven years ago evidently rich um, and has left her uh, a ton of money in a castle and stuff like that but she doesn't want to sign the papers because that would be admitting that he's dead she doesn't believe that he's dead and um, so she's finally about to sign these papers and it comes with like a puzzle and the puzzle um, she you know does it's almost like a Rubik's Cube but and she gets a little note which starts hinting to her where her father might be. So she makes um, the decision to now go and retrace his steps and see if she can go ahead and find him. Um, and so it goes to Hong Kong where she's going to get on a boat and go to this island outside of Japan, I think. Um, and hopefully that's where she's going to find him. Um, and that, that's really the whole synopsis of it. Uh, she's also a kickboxer. Um, and... Uh, you know, training like that, bike messenger, uh, fast and, and that kind of thing. So, I don't think there's anything else uh, that uh, that needs to be said at this point. So far, it's so good. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, now, I did see the first um, Tomb Raider, but I'm not, I'm not trying to compare it to that. I'm just taking this as a brand new face value. Um, but so far, so good. I like it. Um, and we'll see where it goes from here. So, stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Tomb Raider and another enjoyable film. Um, so, some things I forgot to mention on the first check-in, one of the things that I like, and they do this in like every action film, I think, you know, where they have the whole beginning, I talked about her being a bike messenger, and they have the whole introduction to action in the film. And this one involves a, they call it a fox chase, where they, um, she has a tail on, and the rest of the bikers have to chase her and she has paint, a can of paint and they have to catch her before the paint runs out of the can. They stick a hole in it and she drives throughout the city in her bike and they try and catch her beforehand and if they don't catch her she wins money. But it's like all, you know, that's the introduction to the action I like to call it. I thought, I thought that was neat. It's a new original spin. You know, you see different things like that in all action movies and I like that a lot. Um, so I thought that was a good way to get it started. Another interesting piece, so, and, and this isn't ruining, this is more, I feel, of like an origin story. Again, I don't really remember the the original one, um, not the video game, but the um, the original um, Tomb Raider, <coughs> or Croft Tomb Raider. From what I remembered, I like, like she was full-blown, like, superhero, action hero. In this one, she's not. Um, she kind of develops into it, and... While I, I do like that aspect of it, I like her becoming Tomb Raider and, and uh, you know, learning and, and how she became into that role. I think it's, it's odd, like she learns things rather quickly, so um, she really can do a lot of different things. And nothing magical, but, uh, you know, like she goes into this this island and has to it becomes a fight for survival and, and all, all the things that she does to survive and and things like that they don't show enough of the background like I'll give you an example they have one where they, she shoots a bow, bow and arrow and she's practicing as a kid so okay she has that skill 
but everything else and a little bit of boxing uh, kickboxing and stuff like that so but she loses in in kickboxing when in the beginning but in the as she goes throughout you know um, this adventure she's winning she's surviving those types of things so while I do like the idea of it being a um, origin story I thought they kind of like gave her skills that she shouldn't have gotten without us finding out how she gets those kind of skills you know what I mean um, even much so, like, she doesn't have the confidence that a full-blown, the full-blown Laura Croft Tomb Raider has uh, in a video game and stuff like that. So, um, you know, because she's learning and she's, she's just developing into this character, um, but yet she still has these skills. So that, that's my only, you know, um, area of opportunity, I think. Uh, one thing I also liked about it, and see if you catch this too, and I'm going to give it away, but, you know, you, you see female leads. And they, I don't know, they change something. So when a female lead is in an action series, you don't hear, I mean, like the, the grunts, the moans, like as you expect to hear from a female, the higher pitch kind of thing. And uh, I don't know if they change it um, while they're filming it or, or, you know, going editing it. But this was really, you know, really was her, I felt. And, and it was like more of a, a female moans and grunts, more realistic, I think. You know, she's fighting people, it's sounded more like, like it was really her and not like a, a dubbed in kind of soundtrack. So I like that aspect of it um, and I enjoyed that a lot. And it, it was fun, it's far-fetched, it, it's based on a video game and you get that sense. Um, you know, there's some scenes in it where it's like, oh, it's like kind of like video game-ish, she's dodging things and stuff like that. So you know, came back to the roots there, um, and overall just like a fun adventure, like I said, also like Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones, but with the female lead, is is what I compare it to, um, and I think it's definitely worth seeing, I like her, um, they set it up so that there can be more, but I think I might have read that she doesn't want to do any more, that would be a shame, because I do like her in this role, um, because I think now, like, she'll, she'll morph into more of Laura Croft, and become a little bit more confident, but then keep the, the humble side of it, I think. Um, so hopefully she does do more of these and they, they do a couple sequels because I think I'd be interested in seeing them. I think this is worth watching. I'm going to give it a 7, um, close to an 8, but for the reasons I already mentioned, I'm probably just going to keep it at a 7, but fun. And, uh, you know, take it for what it's worth. Don't go into it. It's unrealistic, of course, but who cares? Just escape into the movie and enjoy it. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if I missed anything, if there's other criticisms you had about the movies or other things that you liked about the movie. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for tuning in and watching this one. I'll see you next time. Kimmel's Irish Pub.